everyone, welcome to the Racing Line on the Road and this is the first episode of the Racing Line on the Road and with me right now is my partner. Partner? Hello, partner. Of course, Neil Labrador. And we are going to, you know, go around the different tourist destination around the country using motorcycles, cars, vehicles, whatever. Basta, around the country. Chopper, ready? <laughs> Possible! <laughs> well, of course, the nearest place na pwede niyong puntahan, yung mga magbarkada, whatsoever, that you can enjoy with your motorcycle, kasama niyong mga barkada niyo, siyempre angkas, ganun, marami kayo, mag-ride kayo, or cars, sabay-sabay kayo lahat, punta kayo sa ibang lugar, is yung malapit sa city mo. Siyempre ako, I want Davao. Marami akong puntahan sa Davao. Ah, hindi. Partner, actually, No offense, ah, pero mas maraming mapupuntahan sa Cebu. Cebu! Ang Cebu, maliit lang na island yung Cebu eh. Yung Davao, maraming, ano, maraming roads. Punta ka dun sa north, punta ka sa south. Eh yun na nga partner, sometimes hindi naman kailangan sobrang malayo ang ride para magiging enjoyable. So, for me, based on my experience partner, ano kasi, meron kasi tayong tinatawag na parang maximum, uh, ano lang, maximum parang travel time para it will remain enjoyable kasi sometimes kasi pag masyado ng malayo it defeats a purpose partner eh medyo pagod na eh pagdating sa destination pagod na instead na magkakabanding kayo magkakaibigan wala na eh kanya-kanya tulog eh. well I've heard Cebu is really very traffic so how can you more or less stretch your bike you want to feel the power of your bike uh, winding roads is very traffic ano na lang tayo pick na lang tayo Okay, ah, yeah. But later on, guys, Davao or Cebu, saan yung gusto mag-ride? But right now, para matapos kami, mag-ride na kami, let's do this. Okay. One, two, two three. Aha. <laughs> N-Max and the X-Max from Yamaha. Thank you sa Yamaha Philippines. Partner. Yep, right. Pero partner, I love the N-Max. This is sleek, fast, Masking matangkad ako, fit for my style. Kung gusto mo long ride, kaya niya. Kung gusto mo short ride, hindi siya overpowered. Then, the wheelbase is just enough. Everything is just enough. Everything is perfect. Well, again, partner, it's a matter of perception. No? So, uh, tama ka. Uh, N-Max, okay naman siya sa mga uh, biyahe-biyahe. No? Pero, iba pa rin pagdating kasi sa medyo... Uh, tinatawag nating mahahaba yung stretch, iba pa rin yung mas malaki ang uh, displacement. No? Diyan na maglalaro yung displacement, uh, in which the, for me, the Yamaha X-Max, eto na yung sagot para dun sa mga gusto lang mag-chill ride. Yung totoong chill ride. Ah. Na pag sinabi nating chill ride, chill ride lang. Hindi naman kagaya ng mga big bikes na talagang hatawan. Since we are in a public place, let's do a voting. Tingnan natin dun sa mga magpasok dito sa sa area, sa area na to anong mas gusto nila sa itsura pa lang hindi pa lang sinasakyan itsura pa lang sa laki sa lead ganun ganun I call call ah, go for the NMAX you go for the XMAX okay pag nanalo ako libre mo yung lunch alright let's ka, do this sagot ko yung lunch okay deal 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 after the non-stop discussion on which bike is better we decided to let the people be the judge. But after a series of convincing, we suddenly bump into two gentlemen who happens to be at the right place at the right time. Oh, hi, Joe. Hey, buddy. How do you do? Great, thank you. Okay, so uh, Joe here is a, a motorcycle, not only a motorcycle enthusiast, but he's a motorcycle racer himself. So uh, what a surprise, no? So uh, anyway, uh, Joe, as I said earlier, uh, me and my partner, John, we had this uh, argument between uh, which one's better, the, the 150cc uh, scooter, which is the Yamaha N-Max, or the 300cc scooter, uh, which is the Yamaha X-Max. So, for you, sir, uh, here in Cebu, well, which bike would you prefer? Which scooter would you prefer? You know, Yamaha makes a great brand as it is, but the, the 155 scooter, is a little more nimble because it's a little lower, a little less weight. It's a little easier to go in between the cars, 
as you get bigger with the bike, the handles obviously the the, bar, the mirrors are up higher, so you can't you hit other mirrors. So in town, I say the 155 is the bike. Um, but if you're going to run the SRP or go around the island, I mean, nothing, no, nothing like horsepower. Yeah, you get horsepower right. pays. I mean, that's what I said to yeah. my partner. It's, like, really, you know, it's a different thing. Yeah. You, you should go for a higher CC bike. Right? Yeah. Anyway, so uh, thank you so much oh, for your time. Thank you guys Joe, nice to meet you, you, sir. Thank you. Okay, with me right now, another, um, shall we say, a motorcycle enthusiast, a racer for, for motorcycle and cars, Sir George. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for your day. George, you're also right here. Yeah, yeah, two George together, yeah. <laughs> so right now, my partner and I have been discussing which bike are we going to use or something like that for, for touring, for city driving. So right. We have the two Yamahas right here, the Edmax and the X. Yeah, I, I like think. the Yamaha. I've, in the traffic, I prefer the smaller bike. Oh, yeah, right. that's what I said to my partner. <laughs> yeah, it's more nimble through the traffic. Um, the bigger bike, you have to be a little bit more careful, but then of course the bigger bike is better when the road opens up a bit. So you've got the best of both worlds here, you know. But for my type, my size guy, because you're a bit bigger than me, um, I'd, prefer, I'd prefer the smaller one in the traffic. All right. Yeah, but on the open road, I'd go for the bigger bike. You'd go for the bigger bike? Yeah. Now, if you can only choose one, yeah. which one do you get? I'd, I'd still go for the smaller one, because it's still got plenty of speed, so you can go fast enough on the highway. Um, and it's nimble, so it's very easy to ride. There you go, thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. That's a boat for the NMAX.